Good morning. It's Jackie Wang, your yoga instructor for Hundreds Yoga. And what a new day, right? Um, every day is special because it's a new start. And we get to all join together for a light meditation and yoga class. This class is every Saturday at 9 a.m. and it loops throughout the week so you can if you miss it or you want to keep going with the practice just go to the hundreds tv website and you'll be able to see how you can maintain this throughout the week so each of our class we start off with a short meditation and then we go into either some seated or some light movement work and then we'll go into a bit more of a heat building movement sequence. Sit down and do some nice deeper stretches, get into our more used joints like our hips and also our muscles in our lower back and upper back. And then we lay down and, and just fall into our nirvana. So, You've never done yoga before. That's basically what yoga is. It's just breathing and stretching. So let's start off with our breath. I like to sit in a comfortable seated position. This may not be comfortable for you because I'm in half lotus, which means this foot is over my right thigh. You may just want to be crisscross applesauce. I am sitting on a blanket that I folded. You can fold it to your liking um, or you can not have it, or you could sit in a chair if you want. Um, some of us sitting on the floor is extremely uncomfortable and maybe even painful. And if that is you, please sit on a chair, both feet to the floor, um, especially if you have um, back pains when you are sitting down. Um, but the only thing is just make sure you're sitting tall. Elongating the spine, imagine a string at the top of the head pulling you up, but don't look up. Just imagine yourself getting pulled up and slightly tuck the chin. So as you're getting pulled up, you'll feel your belly button slightly go in and your rib cages slightly pull up. And you may even want to shrug your shoulders, but don't do that. Keep your shoulders back and down. The way that I like to teach breathing is to gently place your hands right at your rib cages. And where your fingertips meet, kind of your upper abdomen, upper abdominum is where you want to breathe into. Of course, we're all breathing into our lungs. It's the same place, but a practice of meditation is to focus your breath and to breathe into that focus point on your body to connect the breath and the movement. So go ahead and place your hands together and see where my middle fingers are and where they meet. That's where I like to imagine myself breathing. And as you breathe in there, what do you feel? A lot of us may be feeling our rib cages expanding and going back in. Just take a few breaths. And as you're breathing, just notice again your rib cage is going out and going in. If you had enough of that, you can place your hands down or you can keep doing that as we go through our breath work. All right, so sit tall. Relax the shoulders, gently pull in the belly button, open the collarbones wide, slightly tuck the chin, and find your natural breath, breathing in and out the nose. And with every breath in, just acknowledge that you are here this morning being present, and with every exhale out the nose, just release something that's distracting. Every breath in, just breathe in the new day and the emptiness of it. And every exhale out, just release one thing new and let it go. And in this state, we really want to try to find an organic, neutral state where we are fully open with no expectations. No ambivalent feelings, but 
but just an, almost like an equilibrium of our mood where it's just evenly balanced, but still true to us. So with every inhale in, just imagine your breath just clearing away light in your mental space. And with every exhale out, find something that you could just release a little bit more. Deep inhale in and out. And as you're breathing, you may just notice parts of your body just being uncomfortable. Just breathe, remember the focus point, focus on that area and inhale in. And on your exhale, just like you're releasing your thoughts, go ahead and release that part of your body and make room for more comfort. Now we'll go ahead and do just a few four count breaths, inhaling for four, holding the breath for four, Exhaling for four, holding the breath for four, and inhaling for four. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. Exhale everything out the nose. Until you can't breathe anymore, release all the breath that you have, and now breathe in for four, three, two, one. Now hold the breath for four, three, two, one. Now exhale out for four. Three, two, one. Now hold the breath for four, three, two, one. And inhale in for four, three, two, one. Now hold the breath for four, three, two, one. And exhale out. Now hold the breath. Deep breath in, keep the steady motion of your breath. Hold the breath, last cycle. And exhale out. Now hold the breath. Last one, you guys. Now take a deep breath in. Until you can't breathe anymore. Second a little bit more, one more maybe, and now hold the breath. And as you're holding the breath, just acknowledge your feelings. Acknowledge your thoughts. Acknowledge where you are right now and slowly begin to exhale out. And as you breathe out, just bring a hyper awareness to your body and the connection to its breath and to its mind. And know that this is what self-awareness feels like. <laughs> All right. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and do some breath work. Uh, I mean, not some breath work, some movement work. So let's go ahead and meet on tabletop position, pressing all 10 fingers into the ground, your knees and the tops of your feet. Go ahead and open up the knees so that they hip length apart. Open up the hands so that they're shoulder lengths apart. We're going to drop the lower belly, open the chest, slide the shoulders down, and tailbone up and look up, breathe in for cat. Exhale, curl the spine, press into the top of your toes, press into your hands for cow, look through towards your belly button. Now inhale in for cat, drop the lower belly, look up, open the collarbones, open the tailbones. You might want to just shift your hips side to side to open those joints. And exhale for cow. Ooh, this feels so good in my upper back when I do the cow. Inhale for a cat. Look up. Tailbone up. Pull the belly button in here. Now exhale. Pull the belly button towards the spine. Curl the upper spine. Chin towards your chest. Look towards your belly button. And last one. Inhale in. And make nice big circles with your hips. Go ahead and switch sides. Wonderful, doing great. Interlace the fingers together and just roll them out. Anytime before you do some stretches and some movement that requires your hands on the floor, then you really want to make sure that you stretch out your wrists. 
All right, place your hands back on to the floor, fingertips towards your knees, and just rock back to open up your inner forearms. Press into your fingertips, press into the knuckles of your hands. All right, now flip the hands so that the back of the hand is on the ground now, and your fingertips are still facing your knees. Again, stretching out your forearm. Now place your fingertips outwards and your wrists are just a few inches, maybe like three inches apart. And again, just make nice little circles. Stretching out the wrists. You don't have to go really deep into this. Um, it may actually hurt your wrist if you go too deep. So I like to always roll them out once I'm done. So you can just roll them out like me. All right, back to tabletop position. Tuck toes, lift the knees off to the floor, and slowly release the hips towards the back of the room. Look towards your belly button, press off the hands, lift the pelvis to the sky, belly button in, keep the knees nice and bent, but stick your butt up to the sky. Slight back bend, and slowly release the heels. Remember, keep your knees bent since it's our first downward facing dog. As we're here, all 10 fingers are grounded to the floor. Try to press your palms into the floor. Straighten out your arms. Your inner armpits or your triceps should be right next to your ears, not like next to, but a few inches besides your ears. And from here, try to roll your armpits out and in so you feel the mobility of your uh, shoulders. If you can't do that, no worries. Just giving you some options. Again, just pull the belly button in and release. Take one last breath here. Inhale, push off the hands. Pelvis up, pull the belly button in, exhale, release the heels towards the ground. All right, inhale, look forward and slowly begin to walk towards your hip. I like to move really slow in the morning to see how, how I like to test my patience. <laughs> Grab onto your elbow and just hang low. Allow the, the gravity to pull the crown of your head towards the ground and lean forward a little bit so you can get a nice different stretch into your hamstrings and lower back. And as you're here, just bring awareness to your body, release the elbows, ground into your heels now, and begin to roll up vertebra for vertebra, slowly straightening out the legs, Slowly coming up, the last thing up is your head. Rolling up the lower back, the upper back. Try to keep one smooth motion. Once your chest comes up, slowly lift the chin, sweep the hands all the way up, and look up where your hands meet. Gently press your hands together and pull your hands towards your heart. Go ahead and close your eyes here. And now notice the quality of your breath, the quality of your mood. And in this space, go ahead and set your intentions for today's practice. Okay. Open your eyes, inhale, shoot your hands up. Exhale, forward fold, hinge at the waist, bring your hands to your, the center of your forehead. Keep hinging, you could bend the knees now, keep looking forward. Press your hands to the ground. Slowly curl your spine, forehead towards your knees. Press your hands on your shins. Look up, breathe in. Pull the shoulders down. Exhale. Hands onto the mat. Step back. Make sure all 10 fingers on the ground. Keep, press your palms into the mat. Your shoulders are stacked on top of your wrists. Your feet are open to hips legs apart and they're at the balls of your feet. Pull the belly button in. Stay strong, exhale, on your next exhale, drop the heels, untuck the toes, and you're just gonna bend your arms inward towards your rib cages and lower yourself all the way down until your forehead hits the mat. Lie down, keeping your hands next to your chest, inhale, lift up the shoulders and lift up the chest off the ground, breathe in. Exhale, hover the hands, we'll stay here for one more breath, inhale in. 
and exhale, press up the hands, toes together, knees nice and wide, and bring your forehead towards the ground. Your forehead does not have to be on the ground like this. If it's not, you'll grow into your flexibility. If you can, you can try to even press your chest towards the ground while your forehead is on the ground. Take two more breaths here, inhaling in, and exhaling out. All right, come back up. Inhale, tabletop position. Exhale, tuck the toes. Push off the hands. Lift your pelvis up. Release your heels down. Inhale, press into all 10 fingers in your palms. Straighten out the arms. Keep the triceps near your ear. Look towards your belly button. Exhale, this time slowly bend, at, bend. Straighten out the legs and release the heels towards the ground. One last breath here, inhale in, and exhale. Inhale, look up, slowly walk to your hands. This time, instead of holding on to your elbow, just forward fold. Inhale, swan dive up, lifting the chest, sweeping the ceiling until your hands meet, and exhale, hands to heart. All right, we'll go through our first sequence. You should be building up a little bit of heat in this moment. We'll go through one sequence and meet back on the ground. All right, so inhale, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Keep looking straight forward until your hands meet. You can bend your knees, remember, and curl the spine. Press your hands off your shins, look up, open up those collarbones, slide the shoulders down. And exhale, step back. You could do a full chaturanga this time, or you could drop your knees, slowly release your elbows towards your rib cages. Come to the tops of your toes, lift the knees off the floor if you're following along with me. And inhale, look up for upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here, inhaling into the nose, exhaling out the nose. I like to shift my hips side to side to open them up a little bit. All right, look up, inhale, right foot forward. Make sure your right knee is stacked up on your right ankle. Your right toe is facing forward. Step out the back heel and look at your heels and see if they align. Your left toe should be facing towards the left side of the room. And when you're here, straighten out that back leg. Make sure that front knee is stacked onto the front ankle. Now look forward, framing your hands with your right foot. Pull the right hip back, straighten out that back knee. Rip into the outer edge of your back foot. Now inhale, sweep the hands up, round into that back foot. Exhale, bend the front knee so that it's stacked onto the ankle. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull the left belly forward, right hip back, drop the shoulders down. Last breath in, breathe in. And exhale, drop the hands, step forward. Forward fold. Inhale, right foot back, align the heels together. And now go ahead and turn the right foot out to the right toes, facing the right side of the room. Bend the front knee so it stacks onto the front ankle. The left foot is facing forward. Your hands are framing your left foot. Draw the left hip back, straighten out the right knee. Grip into the outer edge of the right foot. Breathe in, sweep your hands up. Exhale, bend into that front leg, grip onto the outer edge of the foot, and pull that left hip back, right belly forward, drop the shoulders. Inhale, last breath in, and exhale, sink a bit deeper. All right, inhale in, and exhale, drop the hands. This time we're just gonna meet back at downward facing dog. Go ahead and move your hips side to side, if you're kind of being playful, you can do a little bounces to open up your hips. All right, inhale, right foot forward this time, drop the back heel down so that it's both feet are, your front foot is at a 90, your front knee is at a 90 degree angle and your back leg is out depending on your flexibility. So either your knee can be put forward or it can be put back. All right, come up. Um, if your knee is hurting on your left side, just put a little blanket underneath it. Interlace the fingers, press into the tops of your right knee, 
We're going to sink into those hips. Press off the right knee and exhale, right hip back, left hip forward, and sink into your hips. You'll feel this at your left IT band and your hips. Inhale, hands up. Exhale, press the hands onto the ground, slowly straighten out the right leg, flex the right foot, and pull your forehead towards your shin. Inhale, back up. And exhale, one more time, release. Drop the right foot back, left foot forward this time. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, interlace the fingers, place them on your left knee and slide into your hips. The trick is here to press, to press off this thigh, pull the left hip back, and as you bring the right belly forward and you sink into this area right here, you feel this muscle opening up, right? If you're like, this hurts, you just gotta train your mind and be like, inhale, mm, exhale, this feels nice. It's all in the mind. All right, go ahead and press your hands and frame your left foot. Straighten out the left leg, bring your forehead towards your shin. And inhale, come up again. And exhale back. All right, go ahead and kick the left leg back. Open up the heels, open up the knees for child's pose. We'll take a few breaths here. And as you're here, just relax the forehead. Relax the belly, relax the lower back. Awesome, now come back up. And we're gonna go into a seated position, hug your knees into your chest, and go ahead and slowly roll onto the mat. Bend the right leg, you're gonna bend the left leg so that your left ankle is stacked onto your right knee, and your left knee, your left knee is pointing out towards the left side of the mat, and your left foot is flexed. Finger or hands either can grab onto your knees or grab onto your inner thighs, but then you want to interlace right underneath your left ankle. So find the grip that feels nice and begin to pull your knee into your chest, opening up the left hip. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, pull a bit deeper, making more room into that stretch, opening up the left hip, maybe even dropping the shoulders down. Last breath in. And exhale, switch sides. Bend the left knee, right ankle on top of left knee, flex the right foot, bend the right knee out towards the right side and catch the left knee or you could wrap it underneath the thigh if you want to make sure you're going under your right ankle. And take a nice deep breath in and exhale, relax and deepen the stretch. It's kind of counterintuitive because when you're stretching, you want to tense up but you go deeper into the flexibility once there's more heat that's built, as well as once there's, once you're relaxed more. So inhale in, and exhale, stretch. Keep that right foot flex. All right, go ahead and grab onto the knees, and roll up back onto your knees like this. And this is where we're gonna do a little back bend. So place your hands right underneath your hips. Press into your hands so your hips are pressed towards the front of the room or the front of the mat. Keep your chin towards your chest, open up your collarbones, take a nice deep breath in, and exhale, just drop your head up towards the sky. This may be enough for you. If you want more of a stretch, you can lift back. All right, inhale, slowly come back up, release your hands from your hips, and come seated to your chest. I mean, come seated to your heels. So we're gonna try that again, but this time, for those of you guys 
who want to go into a deeper stretch, you can look for the heels and catch the heels. Okay, so you can watch me first and, and then we'll do that one together. So for those of you guys who want to just stay here, just stay here. If you want to bring your head back, just stay back. But if you want to catch your heels, you just catch one heel and then you catch the other heel and then you press your hips forward, open up your collarbones and look towards your brow. All right, and when I mean look towards your brow, literally just try to look at your eyebrows so your eyes are go back. All right, let's go ahead and start. Let's all meet up. Hands, place them underneath your hips. Press your hips forward. And then just look towards the ceiling. If you want more of a stretch, look towards the back of the room. And when you're ready, start looking for your heels. Open up your collarbones, open up your shoulders, press the hips forward. Take nice deep breaths here. Breathing in through the nose and breathing out through the nose. All right, when you're ready, put one hand, your left hand on your left hip. Slowly come up, right hand on your right hip. Find a comfortable seated position. We're gonna come to our actual seat and we're gonna kick our legs forward. Take a deep bend in the knee first. Grab onto the outer edges of the feet and slowly release your forehead towards your knee. As you're here, just begin to straighten out the legs, going into a forward fold. It's okay if you can't straighten out the legs. I actually can't straighten out the legs today because I worked out yesterday. Um, but this feels nice just to be in this specific space. Now, as you're in your forward fold, just relax the mind. And now slowly come up. Inhale in. Exhale, grab onto the underneath your thighs and roll back. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock side to side. Give your back and your spine a nice little massage. Open up your hands in T position. Drop both knees towards the right side. Look towards the left side. And we'll take a few breaths here. As you're here, just take a deep breath in. And exhale. Allow the gravity of your knees to pull a bit deeper down to the ground. And allow your gaze to lead you to bring your left shoulder to the floor. And as your body weighs further in this twisting mode, allow all unnecessary thoughts just to be released before we enter into Shavasana. All right, inhale, bring the knees into the chest and exhale, switch sides. Your knees slowly draw towards the left side of the mat and just bring your gaze to your right hand. And again, let the weight of your knees just fall to the floor on your left side and let the weight of your gaze, right? Even though there's no weight, it's so symbolic. Um, slowly draw your right shoulders to the ground. It's okay if your knees aren't together. It's just really the twisting mode that we want and maybe some, some of the hips. You can use your left hand to guide your left hip down. All right, now hug your knees into your chest and bring your heels out into a big star and bring your hands out into a big star. Palms facing up. And just begin to relax your body. Notice the way the heels feel underneath the ground or on top of the ground. Maybe you feel underneath the ground. Notice the way your calves press into the floor. Your 
your tailbone and your waist. Gently find the ground. Bring awareness now to your upper back. The sensations of the coolness of the floor pressing against your back and your arms and your knuckles. And as you breathe, just relax the back of the neck. Bring attention to the contact point of your head and the ground. And find your comfort in the way that your head just rests upon the ground. If you can, just begin to relax your jaw. Let your tongue just sit heavy in your mouth. Relax the creases of your eyebrow, the creases on your eyes. And bring attention to the center of your forehead as a beaming light is shining there. Keep that ball of light there as so you just lay here still for a few more seconds. Slowly begin to wiggle the toes and the fingers. Move to one side of your body, keeping your eyes closed and come to a seated position. Press your hands into your heart. And again, just imagine that ball of light at the center of your forehead. Acknowledge what color it is, how big is it. Don't judge it, it's yours. So what does it look like? Slowly bring that ball of light to the top of your head. And if you can, in your mind, just push that ball of light out of your head and into the world. And it's nothing that you lose, it is a part of you. And you are, you have an endless amount of light inside of you. And to manifest your light and your purpose, all it takes is self-awareness and attention to yourself. So I hope that this weekend that you get rest. And for those of you who've been working hard and trying hard, I hope that you can connect deeply in yourself and be recharged there. And may your inner voice and you know, the higher beings or God just really bring um, a focus that you have an endless amount of light inside you. And that light is ready to, to give and to share. Thank you for your practice. And I'll see you next week. Blessings. Be safe, everyone. We are here um, every week, 9 o'clock in the morning, live. Uh, this is a donation-based class as well, so if you feel the need to give, please do. Um, I take Venmo and Cash App. It's just M-S-W-H-A-N-G. Um, and if you would like to offer any suggestions or just be a part of my own community of folks who are committed to movement and meditation, you could just follow me at ms.whang.com. 
and give ms.whang from Instagram and shoot me a DM or any suggestions that you want to give. Thank you all so much. Have a beautiful and blessed day. Peace.